y'all. So today I'm going to be talking about 10 books that I really need to read in 2015. And I do want to emphasize the fact that while a lot of these books are like the first book in a series, I do not intend to complete all of these series by the end of 2015. I just at least want to start them. And as a side note, I have excluded all new releases of 2015 that have not yet come out because these are mostly books that I've been putting off or I've had on my TBR for a while and just haven't gotten to. And obviously new releases can't count toward that because I don't even have them yet. First on the list is the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass, which I actually do intend to catch up on by the end of the year. This series has been really high up on my TBR ever since I first started watching booktube and I just don't know why I haven't read it yet. Like of all of the series on this list, this one is probably the one that I feel the most guilty about not getting to yet. But this is also one of the books that I plan to get to the soonest because once my book buying ban ends at the beginning of September, I am going to go crazy and buy all five of the books that are out of the series so far. The four main books and The Assassin's Blade, which is the compilation of short stories slash novellas within the series. Next up is Steelheart by Brandon Sanderson, which is the first book in the Reckoners series, I believe. I don't think it's just a trilogy. Now, I totally could have named all of Brandon Sanderson's books on this list, but I decided to narrow it down to the one series that I really felt like I needed to get to, and that one right now for me is the Reckoner series. For some reason, that one just is the one that I feel like I need to most get to in the next few months, so definitely plan to at least start it, if not catch up to it by the end of the year. Next up is Off to be the Wizard by Scott Meyer, which is the first book in the Magic 2.0 series. This is a recent discovery of mine, but it has intrigued me ever since I first heard about it, and I really feel like I need to get to it as soon as possible. The concept is super intriguing. It's about this hacker who gets sent back in time to this like medieval time period and he uses technology to kind of seem like he is a wizard and it just sounds super cool. It's a trilogy. I've heard that you can get through it like really fast so I just cannot wait to get to this one and I feel like if I don't read it by the end of 2015 I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Next up on the list is another book where I broke my book buying ban. Uh, it's Me and Earl and Dying Girl. Now let me explain. This was like $8 at Target. This was the cover I wanted. Don't feel bad about it at all. This is like the third time I've broken my book buying ban. I just, it's coming down to the end and I really want books. I saw a lot about this book on booktube long before the movie and it was kind of intriguing, but it wasn't until I actually kind of watched the movie trailer that it got me really interested to pick up the book. And like I said, lately I've been in a contemporary mood and I just, I got the book, I feel like I need to read it soon because I did break my book buying ban to get it. So yeah, I intend to get to this by the end of 2015 for sure. Next up is The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness, which is the first book in the Chaos Walking trilogy. I've said so many times how I started this book, enjoyed it, but had to put it down. And I just really need to start this book again and just get through the entire trilogy because so far it seems like something I would really enjoy. It seems really intriguing and interesting and I just need to read it. Next up is A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin, which is of course the first book in the Song of Ice and Fire series. I put this on my list of the top five series I need to start in 2015 and I still haven't started it. So I definitely need to get to this one sometime in the next few months. I think I will be getting to it maybe in a month or two, I don't know, but this definitely needs to be read by the end of 2015. Like once again, I don't know what I'm doing with my life if I don't get to this by the end of the year. Next up is The Iron Trial by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare, which is the first book in the Magisterium series. I am still baffled as to why I didn't pay any attention to this book when it was released last year because it has so many components that make for books that I really enjoy. It's co-written by Cassandra Clare. It's a fantasy. It has been compared to Harry Potter and it features a magic school, possibly a boarding school, not sure on that, but it features a magic school. All four of those things are things that I really like in books. But for some reason last year when it was released, even though I saw it all over all the BEA halls and I saw it all over booktube when it was actually released, 
I was like, oh, new Cassandra Clare book, and I didn't pay it much attention, and I didn't even think about getting it or reading it. Like I said, makes no sense. I love Cassandra Clare. She's one of my favorite authors, and this book sounds incredibly intriguing, and I just, I need to read it. Like, I've read all of Cassandra Clare's other books. I need to finally read this one. Speaking of Cassandra Clare, the next book on my list is the Infernal Devices manga series. I first read the Infernal Devices trilogy back in May of last year, and I absolutely fell in love with it. Clockwork Princess is one of my favorite books of all time, and I already feel the need to reread it, but obviously it takes a long time to reread those, and I've been wanting to get into like graphic novels and comics and manga a little bit more, and I've actually never read a manga before. So I need to read these three books. Like, for real, I need to read the Infernal Devices manga series so that I can check off a manga from the list and revisit a trilogy that I love so much. And along the same lines, the next series that I at least want to start is Death Note. Like I said, I've been wanting to get into more manga, and this sounds like one that I would really enjoy because it seems really dark, and I've heard that it's really complex and really great, and I've heard a lot of great things from Kaz over at Little Book Owl, so I think that if I'm going to dip my toes into the manga pool, this is where I should start. And I definitely feel like I need to do that sometime before the end of the year. I definitely don't feel like I need to have the entire series finished by the end of the year because it is a fairly long series, but I do definitely at least want to start it. I think I'm gonna do the like horror slash creepy reads in October again, so that's probably when I'm going to get to this one. And that transitions very nicely into the final book on this list, which is another creepy read, and that is The Child Thief by Brom. I've mentioned many times that Jeff from Ermagerd Books is one of my most trusted reviewers. In fact, I might go ahead and say that he is my most trusted reviewer on booktube. Don't quote me on that. There are tons of reviewers who I trust on booktube. However, pretty much any time Jeff says that he really enjoys a book and gives a book a really great rating, I also really love that book, so I have a lot of trust in Jeff's reviews, and he absolutely loves this book. He's talked a lot about how really great and how creepy this book is, and he even gave it to Jamie to read for their 2015 Jamie vs. Jeff reading challenge, and this is one of the books that he has given a good rating to that has most intrigued me, so I just, I really want to get to this one. I feel like I need to get to it by the end of 2015 because it's one of the ones that's been at the back of my mind for probably at least a year now, whenever he first mentioned it. So yeah, I really need to get to this one soon. So that is it for the 10 books that I really need to get to in the rest of 2015. Let me know if you have read any of these books down in the comments and what you think of these books. As always, I will leave links down in the description to my blog, Twitter, and Goodreads. Please add me as a friend on Goodreads. I would love to be friends with all of you. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!